What's up, people? Coach Bradley here with my man, Mike Dynamite. Today, what I knew was such an essential tip and lesson for you guys, coaches and fighters, to learn how the structure and the, the growth and development of a fighter in their contract is so essential. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you the breakdown of how the process looks when you are in charge of an athlete's career and growing them and what are the things that are inside of this package that really gives them the best opportunity to be extremely successful. So what we are doing right now is going over the A's and B's on his on his agreement. The first thing we do is make sure that the things that are in there that are clear to him that our responsibilities are over at Master Boxing for him to maximize his boxing career and get all the opportunities that the elite level fighters get. Give him a fair shot to really become top of his game and to break it down, all of the costs, all of the things that'll be responsible or all of the things that are a stack of that responsibility on our end and the things that are responsible that he'll be responsible for as well. So, this is what it looks like. If you do not have management in place, you have to make sure that that's going to be established. A manager comes in and he makes sure all of the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed when it comes down to your contractual stuff, your opportunities, and the things that will land in your lap to help make you successful. So they manage all of these connections and position you in the right place to really grow and build your brand as a fighter, and that's super important. So, career management, and Mike has to make it clear that the management side of thing he wants us to do, all right? Because that's important. If you don't have management, you're just gonna be a guy fighting in bars, basically, club fighter. You're not getting to PBC or Fox Network or ESPN without proper management. And if you do, you're gonna be an opponent and you're gonna get blasted. So, that's key. So, the business strategy, it's very important that you understand the constructural format and the, the agreements um, to help him understand what's happening when it's happening. That falls up under that same category. Marketing him as an individual, what his personal lifestyle is like, so companies feel comfortable joining him in his journey and allowing them to be a part of it, whether they sponsor or take him under their belt, slap their name on his robe, pay him for exposure, the marketing of him, showing what his capabilities are as well, and on fight night, why they should actually back a person like this. At the same time, we make sure that they get to see his Monday through Sunday, that's what makes us very visible. That's why we're visible, giving people true insight of how this man operates. He is the Russell Wilson. He is the Tom Brady. You will be benefited greatly to have this man under your banner and pay him a lot of money at the same time. That's another thing that falls up under the branding part of things, and that's what we do well. We take great pride in it. Uh, the marketing, the promotions, Anytime there's a, whether it's Mayweather promotion, whether it's um, um, uh, Lou DiBello promotions, no matter what, that the promotional team understands on the opposite side that we push our own juice. So that means there's more money in it for him on fight night because they don't have to put that kind of marketing because we make sure we have a marketing division, Jab Juice Marketing in Master Boxing that we make sure that the guy will be visible, he'll build his audience. When he starts to fight on television or networks, he'll be known already. So that eliminates the brand awareness thing. People will know the brand of Mike Dynamite. So these things are very important that fighters understand that all this stuff has costs accrued with it. Um, it's good to have it all up under one roof because when you start spreading out costs and entity, people do not take into consideration that you may be paying these people this much, they don't care, they want the full nut. But if you're getting it all, all of these different compartments in one area, 
they're going to take that into consideration and you're probably going to get a much much better deal it's obvious but we're going to drive the career and re-steer everything that has been done incorrectly we're going to make sure that's fixed and done the right way and with that being said you may want to go fight but if your career is not going in the direction I mean, making sure you have the right fights in front of you that is all a job if you go to um Derek James camp he says I don't know who he's fighting I don't know who Errol Spence is fighting when he comes to the gym I train him I don't do his conditioning I don't do his nutrition I don't pick his fights they tell me who he's gonna fight I train him for that fighter see that's a different entity if a person takes the role over the, the, the conditioning that's another huh, percentage going out because you got to pay specific people so Make sure you know and understand all of the things that come with bringing in and becoming a fighter and becoming a brand. Next thing, your objectives. Um, our objective is to have our first fight signed, first part of July, and we are already be in fight shape. We're going to be ready. All we got to do is strategize against the opponent that we'll be fighting. These are plans. They mean they are in ink already. And the objective is to have six fights within that calendar year. Minimal. We may even get, it depends on how much dynamite Mike brings to the fight, opposed to how much quicker we're going to fight the next fight. See, this is stuff that is front and center, so matching that, making that work. Um, if the strength and conditioning is left up to me, I got that. We got that. We will make sure all the components, the food, and everything's in place. I myself know how important it is mike knows he's he's under this umbrella came in at 54 here right now he's down ready to fight so that's the kind of what it is when you're doing it the right way objectives on top of that secure sponsorships and visibility which is what we're doing now we position people in place if that's one of the things that mike says yeah i'll need that in place we're putting that in place already. So all of those things are lined up. Are they not? Are you, you got that pretty much lined up, right? Sure. Yeah. So, and these things are all, they take time, they take a lot of work, and they all have something tied to it. But the key thing is to understand that. Don't go in there and get knocked off your feet, not realizing that this is a real business. And our focus is to get the return on his investment. And that's why we make sure that he looks the way he's going to look in their social media and the internet when you pull him up and that the companies are ready to pay him for his FaceTime. And that's how you get that return back. So he's investing to become a prodigy of sorts. And that's the key. And then the investments, the objectives, and knowing what it'll cost. And then how do we take this and cement the process of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it so what we wanted to do is make sure that you guys got to see front and center someone that you see on a regular basis the inside and how that contract will lay out and look and what he does now is check off and agree all of the things that he wants for his career to have and be operated and managed by master boxing team master boxing and or jab juice marketing to really build them and so by the time he fight his third fight he'll be getting so many offers and by the time we go to six fights what will be in place we always say a little less than what we know we are going to get just not to get too crazy with you know your mind going bananas but we put in the work and we make sure that everything that we need to have covered is covered and so that's kind of what we wanted to do right now i hope you guys appreciate it seeing what goes in and behind agreements when it comes down to developing a fighter and redirecting his career to make it a much more successful boxing career and our objective is to make sure we get him to the highest level and be fighting for a title before he get to his 12th, 13th fight because we're so visible and we understand how to make sure that we are doing the right things on this side. So until next time, Coach Eric Bradley signing out with my man, Mike Donovan, in the building. And this is Master Boxing. You'll get your master's degree, boxing.
Peace and be blessed at God's speed. If you want to learn more, click the link above to the website and allow us to give you some guidance and maybe do a clinic with you. We out of here. Be blessed at God's speed. Peace.